My name is Mike Schmidt. I'm the pastor at St. Luke's Lutheran Church in Manhattan, Kansas. And today is Monday, April 6th, 2020. Today we are observing Holy Monday, the Monday before Jesus is put to death on Friday, Good Friday, on a cross outside of Jerusalem. The scriptures are filled with stories about Jesus' life, especially the last week of his life. And today we are looking at the activities that happened on Monday. Mark chapter 11 tells us, on the following day, now, that would beg the question, what happened the previous day? And that would be Palm Sunday, Jesus' triumphal entry into Jerusalem. And so after that event, he spends the night in Bethany. And so the text tells us on the following day, that being Monday, he and his disciples head into Jerusalem. Jesus is hungry. He sees a fig tree. He approaches the fig tree, hoping to get something to eat. But seeing no figs on the fig tree, he curses the fig tree. And he says, may no one ever eat fruit from you again. Now remember the story because there's a part two to it as well. So he and his disciples head into Jerusalem. And there Jesus finds in the temple money changers. And it makes him very angry. And he cleanses the temple, turning over their money tables. And he then says, is it not written? My house shall be called a house of prayer for all nations, but you have made it into a den of robbers. Later that day, he heads back with his disciples to Bethany and the disciples and he discover the tree that he is cursed. And lo and behold, it is withered from the roots and Jesus takes this as an opportunity to teach his disciples. He says, have faith in God. Truly, I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be taken up and thrown into the sea and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that what he says will come to pass, it will be done for him. Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. And whenever you stand praying, forgive. If you have anything against anyone, so that your Father also, who is in heaven, may forgive you your trespasses. And so our Lord teaches us about faith and prayer and forgiveness. The, the imagery is that our Lord indeed condemns, as he did the, the fig tree, but our Lord is also the one who makes us acceptable before God the Father so that we are indeed able to go to him in prayer. And because we have been forgiven of our sins on Jesus's cross, we now have a heart that is able to forgive just as our Lord has forgiven us. I hope to continue with these devotions throughout Holy Week. Look for them on YouTube as well as our church website.